We'll keep this fairly brief so we won't keep you out in the sun too long. Good morning, I'm Alan McKnight. I'm the director of Columbus Recreation and Parks, and I want to thank all of you for being here today. Mm -hmm. This is an exciting moment for our department, for the city of Columbus, and all of our partners. This section of trail is the last remaining section of trail to be completed on the Allen Creek Corridor. And uh, when we're done, this Allen Creek Corridor will be complete from Westerville all the way down to Three Creeks. So we're real excited about having this opportunity today to uh, uh, do the groundbreaking for it. And hopefully we'll be back here about uh, late May, early June next year and be doing a ribbon cutting and you can bring your bikes and we can all for, go for a nice bike ride. Uh, as we get started this evening, or this morning though, I'd like to uh, invite Sister Jean Poor to the podium. She's with the Dominican Sisters of Peace. The Dominican Sisters of Peace, if you don't know, own property right over here and were uh, instrumental in some of the right-of-way that we needed to build this. So we want to thank them for their support and ask Sister Jean uh, Poor to come forward. A Native American proverb says, we do not inherit the earth from our ancestors, we borrow it from our children. This trail sets apart and protects part of the earth for all to enjoy. May the trail be a connector between communities, between races, between politics, between people and nature, all sharing a common good. May all who use this trail come and go in safety. May they be enriched by Earth's beauty, warmed by the sunshine, refreshed by the cool breezes, and amazed by the revelations offered in nature. May all who use this trail be grateful for the abundant blessings God has bestowed on our land, and in that gratitude treat this trail and each other with great respect. And we ask God's blessing on the work that has, is begun today, and that has begun, and that those who, who will bring it to completion will do so without harm. We pray this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Determine what the needs are within the community. And trails consistently rank almost number one in every survey we do. Folks love to use the trails, whether it's riding a bike, taking a walk, walking the dog, rollerblading, just out with your kids. Uh, it's a great activity. It's a great way to get outside, enjoy the environment, enjoy the outdoors, and live a healthy lifestyle. Uh, Mayor Coleman has been a tremendous supporter of biking in this city for many, many years. Uh, he supports the trails. He's looking at the on-street bike system, the bike lanes, the bike routes big supporter of the Kogo bike share program that we launched a year ago downtown Columbus and uh, I'd like to invite Mayor Coleman now up to, to say a few words. Mayor Coleman. Thank you Alan. You know I've been, uh, this is my 15th year as mayor and we've been trying to get this Allen Creek Trail built from the first day I became mayor. 15 years and here we are today. Uh, this is a great accomplishment and very proud of it. Uh, and I want to thank all those who have cooperated to make this happen. I am a biker and I do bike the Allen Creek trails. Uh, and, uh, and 22 miles this will connect within the city. But the truth is this can go all the way to Pickerington Ponds, all the way north uh, up into Westerville, and I think it'll be a total, if you add them all, all together, somewhere around 45, 50 miles. Mm -hmm. If you add them all together. Because I ride going south Allen Creek all the time. Mm -hmm. And I remember I first started riding, and I wanted to see how far north Allen Creek went. Starting from the southern terminus. Mm -hmm. And I rolled my bike, rolled my bike, rolled my bike, and boom, it stopped right about here. <laughs> over there right across the way there mm -hmm. and I said you know we got to get this thing done connect it all up and then I tried to figure out how far north if I just skip around how where we go north uh, and it picks up uh, somewhere around the soccer fields as I recall is that right Alan mm -hmm. somewhere around the soccer fields going north so this connection between here and around the soccer fields off of Sunbury, 
uh, will uh, open up a new passage, a new way, a new opportunity for thousands of residents, uh, those who enjoy our trails, our nature, uh, our physical activity, uh, our family activities. It will be a great thing for our city. And this is one of the most important connections, one of the most important connections in this city in a generation for bike trails. And it will last for generations. And we're very excited by it. Uh, and I want to thank our partners, Alum Creek and uh, Tributaries, Friends of Alum Creek, uh, Columbus and Franklin County Metro Parks. I see our director right there who announced his uh, retirement. Oh. Uh, great work over the years. Let's hear applause. Mm -hmm. Ohio Department of Natural Resources, Ohio, Ohio to Erie Trail, Morpsey, Yay Bikes. And when I don't know say Yay Bikes, somebody yells back, Yay. <laughs> yay. Anybody yay. here from Yay Bikes? <laughs> Back there, okay, yay bikes, <laughs> yay, and consider biking. Uh, we're so grateful for everybody. This is a very, very important day, and I want to thank Ohio Dominican as well, because we can't make the connection well without the cooperation of Ohio Dominican University. You know, I've met with the president in the past. He's a great man. Uh, he's working hard for this university, making it better, improving its facilities, and cooperating and working with the city uh, in, a, in a wonderful way as well. So, Mr. President, again, thank you very much. So, <laughs> turn it back over to Alan. Thank you, Mayor. And the Mayor touched on it already, but uh, it takes a lot of partners to make these projects happen. And, uh, and another group I want to mention is the Recreation and Parks Commission. I know Darnita Bradley, one of our commissioners, is here today. Thank you for coming out. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, again, in working to put these together, we don't always own all the property. We have to figure out how to get up and down through here. And I mentioned the, the Dominican sisters that donated some property. Well, ODU, the Ohio Dominican University, was instrumental in us being able to build this segment of the bikeway. Mm -hmm. And they were able to grant the easements for us to, to build that trail system. I think it's a, a real plus for them too now that they span both sides of the creek here too so they've got students on both sides of Allen Creek it'll help them out as well and to talk about their support and, and their effort I'd like to introduce uh, President Peter Symbolic Ohio Dominican University. Good morning and welcome Mayor Coleman, Mr. McKnight, Councilman Craig, members of the Recreation and Park staff Dominican sisters, trustees, distinguished guests, and members of the Ohio Dominican University community. It's an honor and a privilege to be part of this morning's ceremony as we mark the start of the construction of this transformational project. As the mayor mentioned, the completion of Allen Creek Trail will be the final link between the north and the south ends of Central Ohio's longest continuous trail. We look forward to thousands of cyclists, runners, and walkers who will come through our campus in the years ahead. And I hope more than a few decide to stop here and enjoy some time on our campus and hopefully decide it's a great place to get a degree along the way. They do have the spot, though. <laughs> However, the completion of this section of the trail will be truly transformational for the campus community. In the area behind me lies some of the richest wetlands in central Ohio teeming with plant and animal life, a veritable gold mine of biodiversity for faculty-led research. Once the bridge is constructed over Ellen Creek, we'll have a connector between our main campus and this East Campus facility, something that's been lacking for a number of years. However, this new bridge will connect our faculty and students to the environment surrounding the campus more closely than ever before. In just a few months, Hear that just a few months. Okay. okay. In just a few months, our students will be able to walk from classrooms to this wonderful outdoor laboratory. It will be a practical and ever-changing outdoor classroom for students and faculty in biology, environmental science, and many other disciplines. The new bridge will also give us the ability to run a fiber connector between the east and west parts of our campus to improve the overall connectivity to the campus. We're extremely grateful to Mayor Coleman, 
to the Columbus City Council and to the many other community leaders and organizations whose vision and commitment have led to this momentous day. I'd like to take a few moments to acknowledge a very few important individuals from the Ohio Dominican family who are here this morning. Our trustees, um, Margie Sullivan, Tom Winters, uh, Sister Mary Faith Gielen, Sister Joan Scanlon, our Vice Presidents, uh, Dave Kosanovic, who was instrumental in negotiating all of this, um, Teresa Halloran, our Academic Vice President, and of course, uh, Jamie Caritti, the Student Affairs, Mark Cooper for uh, Public Relations, and Fr Fr Fred Lasseter. So, uh, to them, uh, thank you. Representing the leadership of the Dominican Sisters of Peace, Sister Jean Poor, and from our Student Senate, uh, Haley Notesman, Chairman of the Student Engagement Committee. And to all of ODU's administrators and staff who will collaborate with the city to ensure the successful completion of this project, I am deeply grateful. Again, I welcome all of you to Ohio Dominicans campus. And I look forward to seeing many of you again here on two wheels once the trial trail is completed or in enrollment. The admissions office is directly behind me. Thank you. Thank you, President Symbolic. Well, you heard uh, the president say, you know, once it's done in a few months, well, the folks that are going to get this done, I want to call out a couple of folks here. I want to recognize Brad Westall in the back, a little hat back there. Raise your hand, Brad. He's our green waste planner. Our architect engineers, Jones Stuckey, Dave Jones, I saw you here. And our contractor, the Ryder Company. I guess we've got our marching orders to get this done. So thank you for coming out and, and supporting this. On City Council, uh, we have chairs of the various committees. The chair of the Recreation and Parks Committee is Councilman Herschel Craig. Councilman Craig uh, is a longtime resident of Columbus, uses our parks, very supportive of recreation and parks and the programs and the activities that we offer and the trail programs. The legislation to approve this contract came through his committee. I want to thank Councilman Craig for his support. Councilman Craig, would you like to come up and say a few words? Good morning. Good morning. Uh, as chair of the Columbus City Council's Recreation and Parks Committee, I am proud to have passed legislation uh, in July that allowed for the construction of 1.25 miles of the Alum Creek Trail from uh, the airport drive to Brittany Hills. The central section of the Alum Creek Trail was the final missing piece of a 22-mile regional greenway. That gap has prevented users from use from full use of the trail and there were no safe walking or cycling alternatives in the surrounding communities. Today, all of that changes. Uh, this regional trail has been under development for the past 15 years. And with this completion, thousands of residents will gain, gain access to schools, park, parks, businesses, and a vibrant uh, college campus. Uh, this is a great day for Columbus and for the many people who use the Alum Creek Trail for transportation and recreation. I pledge to you that Columbus will continue to make smart investments in infrastructure and amenities that help our residents live active and healthy lives. Certainly want to thank all of you for being here today and thank you for supporting the Alum Creek Trail. I had mentioned earlier to one of our esteemed sisters that my cousin graduated from Ohio Dominican and went on uh, to be an MD. And then my son's uh, fiance, recent graduate, uh, graduated from this great institution of learning. And so we're proud and honored to be here. And like the mayor, I will be on this trail. Yeah. So God bless you and have a great day. Thank you, Captain Craig. Mm -hmm. You know, one of the, uh, the great benefits of this segment of the trail, it's going to be part of what's called the Ohio to Erie Trail. It's going to link up, really, Cincinnati up to Cleveland, all the way through the state of Ohio. We're fortunate today to have Jerry Rampelt with us, who's the director of the Ohio to Erie Trail talk about uh, the benefits of this particular section of trail and the impact it's going to have on Ohio area trail and riding in Central Ohio. Jerry. Thank you, Alan. Uh, on the chair vision, and the second is leadership. In Central Ohio, you're very fortunate to have people who have both vision and leadership. Many have been mentioned, but the mayor has been a big supporter. Uh, John O'Meara in Metro Parks. 
or Councilman Craig, uh, Brad Westfall, Alan McKnight from Parks, plus a whole lot more people. The thing is, though, is that when this trail is complete, it will be the longest off-road paved trail in the United States. Ooh, We're not talking about just Central Ohio. The longest off-road paved trail in the United States. And this is a tremendous benefit. I get emails and phone calls almost daily from people who are traveling this trail the entire route. Uh, they said we're starting out on Saturday, we're starting out on Wednesday. This is a tourist attraction. And the fortunate thing, next year we have to change our map. We have to change our map because we're coming through here. We couldn't put people on Sunbury Road prior to this time. When you finish this two mile length, you're going to be able to get on a bicycle or you can walk. You can start in downtown Columbus and go to Galena in Delaware County, uninterrupted. And that's going to be a tremendous asset. And then Camp Chase on the west side is soon to be completed, uh, not soon this year, but and that will link the entire county with a trail going uh, southwest and northeast. Thank you so much. And I, lastly, Ohio Dominican University, thank you for your vision and leadership. kept you out in the sun here long enough now so we're going to do uh, the uh, ceremonial turn the first spade of dirt here get a few photographs and then uh, if you have any questions uh, some of us will be around we can answer any questions have any other discussions you'd like to have again thank you all for coming out thanks for all the partners that are here today that made this possible uh, we couldn't do it without your support Thanks for watching. Now don't forget to subscribe.